In this lecture, we are going to talk about the scope of application of Scamper. Scamper can virtually be applied anywhere, anytime. But I am going to talk about few hints now. Now we will take an organization and we will see how people at various levels can apply Scamper. For junior managers, they can apply Scamper to solve transactional problems. Now, as a junior management employee, you might face challenges in your everyday work, which would be very transactional in nature. And in some of those cases, you could apply Scamper. For example, the person who is delivering the mails for you is coming late regularly. He's a vendor and he comes late. What can I do to solve this problem? You can scold him. But end of the day, is there a better way to get this job done? At a middle management level, you can apply this to solve people and process related problems. So the problems would be slightly bigger. We're talking about, let's say, service level issues. We're talking about vendor related problems. So the nature of problems are slightly bigger. At senior management level, we're talking about strategic problems. How do I reposition my organization? How do I ensure that my market share increases? So we're going to use Scamper in variety of ways. Scamper can also be applied when you don't have a problem because I don't want to give an impression that only when you have a problem you can apply Scamper. That's not true. It can also be used as a tool to explore opportunities. For example, entrepreneurs can use the concept to implement their ideas or expand their business. Investors can also use this for their portfolio management. Researchers, needless to say, can apply Scamper to validate or to create hypotheses which can then subsequently be validated. And finally, students, children can apply it virtually anywhere they want in their daily routines. So Scamper has a wide range of applicability. Now we'll talk a bit about design thinking. Design thinking is the buzzword in the industry and most organization wants to adapt design thinking in one form or the other. This course is not about design thinking, but I can tell you that there are certain aspects of design thinking where you need to ideate. There are certain aspects which have more to do with understanding the problem. And there are certain aspects which have to do more with finding out if the solutions are working, prototyping. Scamper can be largely helpful when you ideate because end of the day you can use any approach you want but if you're not willing to try something new if you're not even getting the stimulus to think anything new how will your idea be any different so in one way or the other i would say that scamper dovetails very well with the design thinking concept particularly the phase which talks about ideation in this course, what I have done is to take three different aspects. One is manufacturing, the other is services, the third is strategic initiatives. And we will talk about Scamper and each of the elements of Scamper in three of these different contexts. So you are able to relate and say where you can apply it if you are from a particular sector. So with that note, I am going to wrap up this lecture. In the following lectures, we will deep dive and understand what Scamper is. Thank you.